But hello there guys, Medieval's Crew here with part 28 of my Krokgar campaign for Mortal Empires. And we're going to pick things up where we left things last time, which is in a rather good position compared to where we've been for the past about 6 or 7 parts. Um, so we have finally made a lot of progress. All of this, which was our front line, and, and very fought over, that is all ours. Uh, this bit here that's linking up with the rest of our, our empire down here, that is also all ours. Now, we are actually at war with the Rakaf Dynasty, the followers of Nagash, and with the Greenskins. Um, we were allied with the Dwarves uh, of, of Karakzor, but they don't like us because we kind of broke an agreement with them. Um, I mean, things are improving. It's not massively bad, but yeah, they, they don't like us very much. We're trying to buy them. Which is the best thing you can do with a dwarf, isn't it? We're going to go after Black Iron Mine now. Uh, complete the desolation of the Gash province. And then we're probably going to swing back through via Eight Peaks. I mean, they've got quite a big garrison. They've got a nice little army in there under Queek with lots of storm vermin and nasty peoples. But I'm pretty sure with, you know, Healer and, and Krokgar and Rakrin... And maybe even Balget, if we're thinking about it, we could we could probably push through. I think. I mean, Eight Peaks is the place where we kind of need to be. Right now, uh, Ratok is going to be moving up this way towards Black Iron Mine, and we'll end the turn. Kind of want to get both of those armies up there now. Might have to wait until Queeks like left eight peaks and then just swing back and take it we'll see we're currently at peace don't really want to become treacherous as well then the dwarves will hate me even more because the Dowie do love a grudge Okie dokie, that is a rather nasty little sight. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull back to here. They can have the layer, sorry, I'm not overly worried about it. Go up to there and ambush and then we'll bring this army... Well, what's, what's actually at the port? See now that's got walls. And ambush success chance. It's got walls, it's got a, a reasonable garrison. We should be fine. Right, Krokgar, how far can you get without that? Get you to there. That way you can heal up. We're one turn away from hitting the mine. Okay, looking at buildings now then. Crad Tommen could probably do with some walls. I'm not going to go for that. Spike Peak could as well. Lamia could do with upgrading. That might be worth doing. That is worth doing, sorry. That's not. Um, nothing to do down there, and not anything really to spend the money on, so let's leave it for now. Hero hasn't moved. Yeah, we're not we're not moving that one. Although we could go and have a little look. leave the upgrade and we will cancel that we want our money back end the turn I obviously don't want to get sacked by the orcs and then losing all of that good tasty tasty money
Hmm. Ambush has been foiled. Sorry about that, guys. Have the window open because of how swelteringly hot it is at the moment. Ah, where were we? Healer ambush has been foiled. Crookfang falls. Uh, Fang forts walls have been damaged. We've got the sequence of protection for the untainted. Let's look at technology first, then. Uh, where was protection there? Hmm. Let's go income from ports. We haven't really. Actually, have we got a port? Don't think we do. That is useless to us. Uh, let's go recruitment cost for Soros units then. Hmm. Right, where can we get to? Let's get to, say, Therish. Because they can't hit you. We can potentially hit the fort. Let's try ambushing again. I think they're going to be running down here though. Those girls got a half decent garrison. Any chance I can hit that? 60%. Oh, success. Lovely jubbly block army. Which means that I can run down to Asgal and stop you from taking that if that's what you're intending. Krokgar can hit the Black Iron Mine. Obviously I don't want to be taking tons of casualties so we're going to reinforce you with this army here under Rakrin. Mainly it's to help him get some experience and we are going to save in case of a crash and we're going to go in and do it ourselves because we need to have some nice battles every now and again helps us feel like we're involved yeah I mean they don't really have a chance they haven't got any black orcs or anything nothing majorly gonna stop our dinosaurs from breaking in the front door nothing majorly that's gonna stop Lord Croak neither but we need to get Rakrin some battle experience, level him up a little bit. And Bloody Saurus Warriors as well, because they haven't been used yet, I don't think. I don't think they have. Might have supported Healer in, a, in an attack once, but that's about it, and I don't think that really counts. But now that we've got this, they'll have to jump over to here to try and get around me, which means that now I can just focus all of my armies where they need to be, where that other army is coming from. We can go and take Black Crag, and that's their capital. Then we push all the way to their capital, it'll be like... <sighs> it be easier. It's quite a rich province. Uh, this is quite dark, I don't think I like that. Uh, he's coming from over here. That is fine. Start the deployment. Just as normal. All of those backing in the corner out of the way so that they don't get rumbled. Uh, oh, no, that's not the right group and 10 for croak and we're going to start off with all of those guys headed up there all of the saurus warriors headed up to that bit you lot walking forward, croak walking forward as well ratok, ooh I have missed you, what is that burning alignment? yes And we'll throw all of those in together, and then you lot can all go up the walls over here. We'll put that one on there, and then we'll wait till it's popped, and then we'll do an arcane conduit just for the lols. 
Uh, let's see how much damage that does. That is the most god awful spell I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Poor boys. Um, one. Um, no, get him. Ah, oh, yes. Half health now. I mean, let's just throw down one of these here. Um, all of you guys just in on that goblin big boss. Where is Ratok? You can arcane conduit as well. Carry on going, buddy. That is just awesome. Right, you lot can all just run in as well. Croak can get in and we'll just pop that down there. I mean, it's just such a nice little present for them. Look at it. And kaboom. I mean, that, that unit has just been obliterated. And then we'll put one of those up there. Another nice little gift, a little present for you peoples. You lot can run that way. You lot can all jump on those archer boys. This lot can all come over here. Croc go. Don't need to rally. However, can do the lap little thing. And the swiftness of it all. And then we will Foe Seeker and Deadly Onslaught our way through absolutely everything. Uh, keep coming this way, go after those archer boys. I mean, you lot are just having an awful lot of fun. Pop that one there. And Arcane Conduit, 88% uh, for that. 96. And he's in, ready to rock and roll. Come on in then. Oh, I've missed my rat up. All of you can just jump on that now. Don't want Lord Croak taking any more damage than we have to. Um, I, I want to see this. Wow. That would be even better if they'd have stayed still. Right, let's bring the uh, HUD back up. We're going to go for... Chain Lightning right here. Arcane Conduit. As per normal. And then we're going to run straight into those Archer Boys. And Croaky. Croak. You can just pop one of those down there, pop a shield of Safari up there. Sorry, no, Supreme Shield of the Old Ones. I do apologise. Uh, do that on there. Then we'll get one and two groups to come and help over here. All of three can just pile on those big ones. Except for you lot here who are all doing that. Rakrin, you can stop the, well, increase the leadership there just because you can. And victory done, end battle. The Black Iron Mine is now ours. We have completed that province and we only lost about 150 men. They lost 593. Oh god, I love Saurus. They're just so. Yeah. They're so good. For a, for what is essentially a tier one unit. I know they're expensive. They really are ridiculously expensive. But god they're worth the money. And Croak. Best. Single best thing. That has ever been implemented. The, the battle. Was ridiculously difficult. Because I wasn't prepared for it to be that hard. I, I didn't think it was ever going to be that hard. The battle was difficult and fulfilling. His abilities are refreshing and different to the rest of the slan. And he is just so damn good. And I'm so proud of him getting 170 kills in this fight. 
goddamn most valued player. Dokey. Uh, we are going to loot and occupy. We we can take public order. Uh, war banner for Rakrin plus five leadership. We've secured the desolation of Nagash. We shall go for. Mm. Probably income growth and public order. We shall chuck in some walls. We shall chuck in a mine. We shall upgrade that and we shall upgrade Spike Peak as well. And then Krokgar is going to have to sit there for a turn. Rakrin, however, can go for... Enforcer of Order. We're going to make him a bit of a tough cookie. Bit of a tough cookie. And Zimbatar is going to have to run away now because if Slidermizer, I think it's Slidermizer, yep, that's the one. If he discovers or chases after Zimbatar, he's going to die. And, and that is the end of it. <laughs> there will be no more Zimbatar. So we have to run away as fast as our little legs will carry us. Okay, our army has been blocked. How far can we get? We can get into the fort. Well, that makes things easy. So then I can do that. And I can ambush. Probably won't get anything for it, but I can do it nonetheless. Let's bring him back down to here. Need to keep an eye on things. Might go and have a look at Dragonhorn Mines. Krokgar. Let's force march down this way, please, buddy. Blackstone Iron Mine. Sorry, Black Iron Mine. Let's upgrade to a ziggurat and chuck in a better iron mine for you. Rakrin can also force march down this way behind Krokgar. Croakfest, level up, uh, we're going to go for... Hmm. Irrepressible, that would be quite a good one. Wound recovery time, minus five. Would help if you know what his wound recovery time actually was, but we'll go for it. Um... Do I need? I don't really need the leadership. He's got a hundred. Let's go for specialist then. We'll go through specialist for him. Kropgar. Don't really need the rest of the purge and kill, do I? Because it's mankind. Let's face it, men are quite easy to kill anyway. And dwarves, and I don't imagine I'm going to kill that many dwarves. Hmm. I kind of want to go for stand your ground, so if I can, let's go for epicentrist. Is that a good idea? Carnosaurs, stegodons, bacillodons. That is a really good idea, but we've got a lot of saurus and temple guards. We'll go for that. 
Then on the next one, we'll go for Epicentrist. How many do I need? One skill point. Just the one. Ooh. He won't be able to hit the fort. I don't think he'll be able to get Dingo Rakaz either. If he can, it's good on him, but I doubt it. Either way, he's going to get hit next turn. Settlement upgradable. I'm not, I'm not doing Valaya, sorry. And the turn. If he's got any sense, he'll run away. Ha <laughs> ha Oh no, Queek. Oh no. That is not going to happen. Not on your Nelly. God no, I want eight peaks. And I want you gone. Because I cannot stand the sight of you. You vermin. Right, Battlegirt's got Taskmaster, plus movement range, plus line of sight. But the most interesting thing here is that instead of, I don't know, blocking Krokgar, they've blocked the army that is right next to them. What have they got again? Okay, so they've got a lot of Blackhawks and they've got Grimgore, and yeah, that does kind of make me want to make sure that Krokgar is there. I mean, realistically, uh, we are going to go for Skirmisher because this is kind of a skinky army, isn't it? But yeah, realistically, I don't need to make sure he's there because Grimgore's going to have to try and get in through the walls. And if I do, say. that. That channeling. Yeah, if I do that for. Oh, there's no point channeling, is there? I've got my mage in camp. If I bring, say, this army down behind Krokgar as well. Yeah, but. I don't see the point. I mean, why? Crab Tom and. Oh, Death Gorge. You can definitely go for that. You can upgrade that as well. You can upgrade, or probably not upgrade everything. Probably a bad idea. Hero has not moved. That's fine. We're gonna try and keep him unnoticed if we can. Let's for a right. No, we'll. So, uh, it's two grand. I really want to spend it. End the turn. See what Grimgore wants to do. If he wants to try and take the fang, good luck to him. And if he takes it, I'll just take it straight back with Krokgar. It's not that hard. I mean, he's going to have to try and take the fang. Whilst it's got a lot of reinforcements around. It's got a full garrison. It's got Balgett's army inside. And it's got Healer outside ready to reinforce. Oh, Lord Croak. Oh, Don't like that. Retreat. It's a it's a very good skink priest. He's not a skink priest. 
However, it is a good job that I did sort of sort out his wound recovery time because now it's five turns less than whatever it was. Problem is, it was probably about 20 to begin with. <laughs> Well, okay, in that case then... Ooh, Portent of T'Challa. Capture 750 battle captives and we get six lots of Blethosaurus warriors with shields. Lovely. Lord Croak is instantly back. Let's go for replenish because then the replenishment for this army is currently plus eight from here. Oh, that's battle effects. It's plus 25 from Krokgar, plus another eight from Lord Croak. And for the life of me, I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, I don't understand how he's instantly back. Right, I'm just going to set it up so that he is completely surrounded. Well, we don't really want Bal yet, do we? Let's be honest. Hilo, on the other hand. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, however, we are going to fight this battle next time. Uh, so, stay tuned to watch us kill Grimgore yet again. <laughs> I can't go oh, croak coming back in one turn. I mean, jeez, what is that? Just why, Green? Just sue for peace or something. God, you're being awful. Absolutely terrible. Right, okay. We, we'll, we'll sort them two out next time. We'll kill them both again. Like we have a billion times before. We'll, we'll, this time though, we'll, we'll try and push them over this way towards Ekron. Bit of stone mine. Maybe push them up towards Black Crag instead. We'll fight them through the hills again. Make sure they can't jump over to the iron mine. Because that would be an absolute pain. Um... But yeah, if you've enjoyed, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Tune in for more videos. Check out the videos on the screen. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.